Precautions for Mashing Methods in Beer Brewing The mash method is characterized by the staged heating of a portion of the mash to the melting point. Mix the uncooked mash, making sure the temperature level of all the mash is gradually raised. The mash steaming process is divided into single mash steaming process and double mash steaming process. According to the law of mashing, it can be divided into three, two, and one steaming methods. This method does not add auxiliary materials, only mashing. Pump the portion of the mash to be mashed into the mash pot and slowly raise the temperature to a boil. Hold for a while and pump the steamed mash again into the other uncooked mash. Bring the temperature to a certain level and the effect of the mash exceeds the higher relaxation temperature level. The method of boiling and mashing is adopted to enhance the gelatinization and evaporation of pudding starch. Improve the oil return rate of mashing. In addition to strong wines, it can also be used to make light wines. The boiling and sacrification method is adopted, which consumes a lot of electricity. Steaming multiple times requires a lot of power and time. The regularity of cooking, one to two times, and the cooking time need to be reduced at the processing plant to reduce costs and reduce mash time. With the boiled mash method, to keep the enzymes attractive, the mix needs to be changed when mixing the mash. In mash technology, enzymes in raw mash are used to liquefy pudding starch. Prevents all enzymes in the mash from being eliminated throughout the steaming process.